Okay, so I'm on my iPad Mini, and I've got it oriented in portrait mode, which is um, basically vertical mode, okay? And what you'll see when you first uh, get signed into the Square Register app is you're going to see the three items for the three books. So if we want to let somebody buy the center book, which is $50, we simply tap on center. And notice that shows us that there is a charge of $50 pending. Now let's say that somebody wants to also buy the glass book. So I'm going to tap on glass, and it updates the total charge amount to $85. Now once somebody is ready to check out, we're going to go ahead and hit charge. And now we're ready to either swipe the card or manually tap the card number in here in case you have some sort of problem. Generally speaking, you want to be able to swipe the card if possible because you get a slightly better rate on that. But if you have some problem swiping the card or the card scratched or something like that, you do have the ability to key it in. Also, if you take cash from somebody, you can use this as a cash register. So let's say that somebody gave us $90 in cash, or let's say they gave us $100. We would tap on $100. It's going to tell us $15 change. And then do we want to text them a receipt? And I actually recommend gathering the phone number right then and there so that they'll get a receipt and you'll also be gathering that information. And so let's say that we were going to send this to my number. Then we would go ahead and hit send receipt. And I would get that. And you don't have to print a receipt, of course, because I'll receive it digitally via text message. All right. So in this case, I'm going to go back to new sale because I'm done with that sale. Okay. A couple of other things that you want to be aware of. So again, I'm on an iPad mini with it in portrait mode. You want to be aware that down here at the bottom, you want to be in this center button. That's the items list right here. Okay. So if you accidentally tap over here on the right, you'll be in calculator mode, uh, which is where you could enter some off the wall product. Like let's say that you were going to sell something for $5. You could just simply tap in $5. Okay. Or 50 cents or whatever the case may be. But typically you want to be in the item library. All right. Now, I've got that 50 cent item that I just made sitting there waiting to be charged. I'm going to tap here on current sale. And I'm going to tap my little arrow here and I'm going to say clear these items. That way I'm back to zero. Okay? And so again, you want to be an item list. If you if you tap this leftmost button down here, you'll see where you can add different items into a quick sale deal. You're typically not going to fool with that. Again, you want to be in the item library. Now, just in case um, you get here and you don't see the items, you want to tap on all items. And that will show you all of them. Now, because you're signed in as an administrator, you can accidentally tap on edit. And you can edit the cost of the items or we can add a brand new one. So let's go ahead and I'm going to add a test item. And I'm going to set the price at $1. I'm not worried about giving it a skew or anything like that. And I'm going to hit save. Okay. And I'm going to hit done editing. Now let's go ahead and go through a purchase with a test item. And so I've made sure that my square reader is connected. I'm going to go ahead and charge just the test item. All right, so let's go ahead and swipe our card. And so I'm going to go ahead and just key in my signature right here, or sign it. I'm going to go ahead and sign it right there. I'm going to hit Done Signing, and presto. Now I'm going to send a receipt, because you can quickly ask the customer for their, phone, uh, for their uh, mobile phone number. And you could also ask them for their email address if you want. And we're going to hit Send Receipt. And then here in just a second, I'll get a text message with that receipt where I could click on the link and have a printable receipt. And that's how you can add an item manually 
and then also showing you how you can run a sale for a dollar. So I'm going to go back out to new sale and I'm going to go ahead and let's get rid of this test item because we don't need that in there anymore. And so I'm going to delete that just for our example. And now we're done. And that's the easy way to do square on the iPad.